These are the folks, Sibley Sheet Metal Incorporated here in Sibley, and uh, they do all of the heat pump and Lennox heating and cooling systems. And uh, all the people here are really very good people and very knowledgeable. Would you tell me your name, please? Rick. Rick, and you work for who? Sibley Sheet Metal. Sibley Sheet Metal. Now, what are we doing here today, Rick? Well, we're, we're trying to fix Stan. Stan up here, he's having a little problem soldering today. Oh, he's got a problem. You want to boss those things the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, is that right? Okay, well, you know. <laughs> but I watched you change those pumps, so I know you have a pretty good uh, amount of work experience, too, there. So, <laughs> he did pretty good. Don't be too hard on him. What are well, we doing What are we doing here today? Well, we're going we're gonna to attempt to fix a leak here, and, and I said attempt. This is a tough one. This is the tough one. Huh? This, is, this is our do or die situation here. Now what kind of unit is this? This is a Mandair geothermal ground source heat pump. Oh. Uses the earth to heat and cool your house. Most economical, efficient unit on the market. But really? it's getting old and tired. Yes, this one is. Yeah. Okay, but we're going to take care of it. We're going to temporarily give it an infusion right we're, now, we're right? We're going to try. Okay. Let's see the master at work now. Now what are you going to do, actually? You're trying to do. We're, we're trying to solder a, a, a line that's a refrigeration leak. And uh, we're, we're losing Freon out of the bottom here. So uh, that's that's our goal today, is to uh, uh, get that leak stopped. They both have very good thermostats. Um, this here is our just standard heat pump thermostat. Um, we're going to use that to control your geothermal, your electric heat, and your gas heat. Three stages. Both of these will do it. One's a little bit better than the other. One's your Plymouth, and one's your Cadillac. Okay. What are you saying? What are you saying? So I'm asking you. Oh uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Do? I don't need a I don't need a Cadillac to tell you the truth, do I? Put the Plymouth. All right, let's let's put the Plymouth in. I have pretty good luck with my Plymouth. All right, All right I'm gonna come up a month to you in a moment. <laughs> this is Stan Madsen doing the absolute best part of the setup here is the wiring. He's got a handful too. And what are we doing here today? Well, we're eliminating two thermostats and putting in just one. Oh. Kind of making it a little simpler to understand. Easier to operate. You have that in hand. You do. Okay. Um, say to me. Well, you, you said you wanted to watch. I said we get twenty dollars an hour more when you watch. Oh, well, that's what I was. The sure. price of the lesson. <laughs> that's the price of the lesson. Yep, he's down there, folks, soldering away, doing a real fine job. It looks like here with the champion blue flame. Okay, we're going to hook pressure to it now and see how this solder job works. See, here it's worth. It's, it's, it's quite a job. Yeah. Um, cut the refrigerant line to get it out, and then we have to re-solder them back in. So they don't leak. Yep. Hey, folks. What are we doing today, Stan? Well, we're going to remove the heat exchanger that's inside here. It's got a little freon leak on it, and we're going to put a new one in. I just got it in on the truck today. Browsing things over, see what's exactly how I'm going to make it work. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you can. You're very capable. Oh, yeah. no problem. Very so. capable. These are the actual pipes. Those are the pumps right there that pump the fluid, which 
goes in and out from outside. You see, I have a thermometer that says out and the thermometer that says in. These pipes actually run outside the house. Now what is this? This here is our new heat exchanger. Um, the new model is coming out. Um, you know, with the heat pump that we have now, that's got some age to it. And it's nearly impossible to get that same kind. So this is the closest that we can come to making things work the way they're supposed to. So That looks pretty high tech. Good. <laughs> the general heat exchanger. Um, we got a water jacket. Goes around in circles here and exposes the water back out to our loop out there in the grass. Um, our Freon line here um, goes around. Actually, it's uh, circled around inside that water jacket, and that's where we get our our uh, heat difference, our, our heat exchanger, if I may say so. So I'm going to get this out of the case. We're going to put her in. All right, good. Well, the best way to kind of explain this, as uh, Stan was saying, is the heat exchanger makes the water go around and around. Now, these pipes run into the actual heat pump, and here is uh, part of the pump system, and that runs up the wall over to the other side of my room here, and you can see the pipes go down and they go outside. Now they go outside and run in a loop that's a very long loop underground. So to explain that ground loop a little better, on a typical air conditioner you have your fan and coils inside a unit that sits outside your house the fan blows cold air over or actually the ambient air and sometimes that's very hot and to try to cool those coils down in this case the coils are buried underground and so there's no fan that needs to cool them and the temperature is about 53 degrees uh, all the time so that's how that works business folks there's a uh, flow meter here and the weight comes up to the top showing that we're uh, pumping good water through the pipes out into the yard getting cooled looks like everything's running good now you're putting in the Freon right you betcha try and get her up where we need to be all right good okay Stan here has told me that the unit and I've watched it myself is absolutely running perfectly now there's the new heat exchanger all wired in everything looks really good I sure appreciate it you guys do good work you really do uh, we, we do the best top of the line here in simple okay there he goes folks thank you, thank you very much good job I appreciate it a lot good boys down there at Sibley Sheet Metal great